The purpose of this video is to show you how to schedule a Pentaho job that exists on your Pentaho server. Um, uh, for us, that, that server is Darly. So the steps associated with this is first we're going to uh, create a shell script uh, that exists in the appropriate location that Pentaho is looking for. Then we're going to uh, modify that shell script to point to the new code that we've created. We'll test that script um, by running, by running uh, it. And then we'll create a cron tab job um, that will trigger that shell script at the appropriate time. Okay, so um, what we're going to do, let me just back us up here, is to actually get in, uh, we're going to actually get into our Pentaho server, that is Darly. Um, to do that, you SSH in, and you supply the appropriate credentials, and this will take you into the home directory of Pentaho, you can see there. Um, what we are going to need to do, if you, uh, if you were to view all the folders and files in this home directory, you'll see there are two of importance, real importance to us. One is the jobs folder and the other is the repo folder. The repo folder is where all of the Pentaho code resides and the jobs folder is where we keep all of our shell scripts that run um, our job, our uh, Pentaho um, binaries on the schedule. So this is where we're actually going to want to go. So if you uh, go in here and you were to view all of the shell scripts, you'll see that there are, um, these are all of the Pentaho um, uh, scheduled uh, jobs that we currently have avail uh, available. Um, so our first step is going to be actually creating a new shell script um, and the easiest way to do this is just going to be to copy an existing one. So in this case, rather than having to write a bunch of new code and grant n new uh, permissions on the shell script, we're just going to copy one that's already set up the way that we want it to. So we'll copy it and we're going to call this one test sh. So now if we look at that again, what we see is that our test sh script now exists. So if we, uh, if we vi the test sh script, what you'll see is that there are essentially two lines to this, this code. One is it's, it's going to this, uh, this di dir, which is a, a global environmental variable um, where the Pentaho binaries, the kitchen script uh, binaries actually exist. And then it's calling this kitchen shell script uh, with the uh, file of um, uh, whatever we need to have specified. And then it's actually outputting the log associated with it to this, uh, back to the, the jobs folder with some date parameter, uh, with some date values um, uh, affixed to that log file. So really all that we're going to need to do is just update um, the relevant pieces of content to our new code. So in this case, rather than Siemens J, H HRM, HAA owner, I believe it is test demo new KTR. That I have here. And I can just verify that real quick by going over to Penguinet. And you see that we have this test demo new KTR. This is on Darley in my Stevens J folder. And then instead of an output uh, log that looks like this, it's going to need to be test demo new. I mean, we can name it whatever we want, but as a best practice, it should mirror exactly what you have as the name of the file. Okay, so we have now updated our shell script to show, uh, to run the new, uh, the new Pentaho uh, code that we need. We'll now escape out of that, and we'll save the script. Okay, so now to test 
the file, what we can do is we can hit period test.sh. And you see in this one it actually says like, oh no, what the heck, I couldn't find a starting point for this job. Well, that's not entirely surprising because if you look at the job itself, the job is, it is meaningless. So um, it's, uh, it's unsurprising that it couldn't find a starting point. Um, but um, we are just for purposes of this demonstration going to assume that the job ran perfectly. Um, we'll now uh, change back over to our home directory and then cd into our jobs folder and if we um, what we can actually do is we can actually look at and, and so you see that it, we just had a a new log written out from this test shell script so if we wanted to test the or see what's going on in here then it's basically the same exact thing um, that we just saw. Okay, so now um, we have uh, created a new shell script, we've modified it, uh, we've tested it, so now how would we go about uh, scheduling this job for working um, on, on, you know, um, on a monthly cycle? Um, what you're going to do is you're going to actually execute this cron tab uh, command and what that will do is that will show you all a uh, cron tab is basically a, uh, a Unix or Linux uh, scheduler application that uh, runs your uh, run can run shell scripts on a um, on intervals that you define by all these cryptic uh, weird um, uh, numeric values over here so um, to actually set up our cron tab job instead of typing cron tab l we're going to type cron tab e as in edit now we'll open a vi editor much like what we uh, saw previously and so we will then insert into there a new record and um uh so uh if you're not familiar with what uh, cron, uh, with how crontab works, basically um, you're you're specifying uh, intervals of time. Um, so uh, this this job, for example, um, it runs at the zeroth zeroth minute of the eighth hour of the seventh day of the tenth month, uh, and then this last piece is irrespective of the day of the week. So it goes um, minute, hour, day, month, day of the week. So to use one more example, this job runs at the zeroth hour or zeroth minute of the fourth hour every day, every month, for which the day happens to be um, I, between Monday and Friday, or Monday and Saturday, excuse me. Okay, so here again, much like everything else, uh, it, it's probably easiest to just copy paste a file that a, that we want. So just going to copy. And. I will add a new job in here. But uh, instead of this, all that we have to do is we now just have to update this line with the name of our script that we just created. And we can then have it run at, at whatever interval we want. In this case, if I wanted, it, if I wanted that test script to run at every uh, Friday morning, um, or excuse me, every morning at 4 a.m., regardless of the day, month, or day of the week. So that is how you uh, schedule a Pentaho job um, on our Pentaho.